what is up ladies and gentlemen namaste and welcome back to my youtube channel i'm going to react to the forgotten great war of india this is surprising for me like india has a great war i i just thought and i knew of the great war of china but this is amazing and that's why i chose to react to this tell me what you think in the comment section i don't know if some of you knew about this or if you don't you can tell me in the comment section if you have more videos you want me to check out Tell me again in the comment section. I'll be sure to check it out. So I'm gonna watch the whole video and then we'll do my, uh, you know, give out my thoughts and what I think at the end. Let's go. The history of India show. The forgotten Great War of India. Wow. Where was it though? Following the Battle of Plassey in 1757, a trading company became the rulers of the richest province in the world at the time, Bengal. This company, the East India Company, went on to rule large parts of India until 1858. The company was dissolved following the Indian Mutiny with the British government subsequently taking over control over India, okay. which became the jewel in its crown. As we know, Wealth poured out of India during the rule of the company and during the British Raj. Heavy taxation was a massive True. burden during the British rule and this included the salt tax, introduced as early as 1759, just two years after Plassey. The introduction of salt tax and the efforts to prevent Indians from smuggling in salt from the princely states led to the creation of the Great Hedge Wall of India around the year 1843. At its longest, the Great Hedge Wall of India ran for almost what? 4,000 kilometers. The story behind the Great Hedge of India begins, wow. as do a lot of stories from British India, with the greed of the East India Company. Salt was a valuable commodity and a profitable export. So obviously, the East India Company took over the trade by any means necessary in the regions governed by them. By the year 1780, the Governor-General of India, Warren Hastings, had brought all salt manufacture in the Bengal Presidency wow. under the company's control. He then decided to increase the salt tax tenfold to the point where the average Indian consumer at the time would have to pay what amounted to two months of his annual income on providing salt for his family for a year. While rates of the salt tax varied across British rule territories in India, the rates were highest in the Bengal Presidency. As expected, this unjust burden led to people trying to avoid paying the salt tax in a variety of ways. And this included smuggling in salt from the princely states of India. To try and stop this, the British built customs houses, but these were spread out and had little to no effect. These customs houses eventually led to the formation of the Inland Customs Line and by the 1840s, the Great oh, Hedge Wall of India came into existence. Somewhere around 1840. The Hedge Wall started with thorn bushes being cut and put into place as a barrier. A. O. Hume, who was the Commissioner of Inland Customs between 1867 and 1870, decided that a living hedge would be much more cost effective and led to the rapid expansion of the Great Hedge Wall. The wall consisted of hedges, baboon, bamboo plants, and more. Hume, who had an avid interest in botany, also replaced the soil in places where the soil was poor. He also made sure the Great Hedge Wall was regularly watered and built trenches alongside it in parts. As we see with walls and barriers today, the hedge wall wasn't foolproof. Smugglers still managed to get salt across by either driving their camels through the hedges or by simply tossing sacks of salt over the wall. At its peak, the hedge wall ran from Punjab in the north to the border of the princely Yo, states that's of Odisha a long in distance, bra, From Punjab to Odisha. The tax was hard to impose and at its height, the Inland Customs Department employed more than 14,000 workers. The job of a customs officer was actually quite highly prized at the time due to the high pay of 5 rupees what? a month. Workers could also boost their income through other means including the proceeds from selling seized goods. However, the position did have its drawbacks. 
Custom workers were made to live away from their families and were almost always posted far away from their hometown. Clashes between workers and smugglers were also common, with both customs officers and smugglers often being killed. It did not help that the customs officers This were more crazy, often than yo. not outnumbered by the smugglers. Records show that more than 6000 smugglers were apprehended and convicted in 1877-1878. Great hedge of India. The hedge wall was often considered a hindrance by British officials because it obstructed free travel and free trade. Several British viceroys considered taking down the great hedge, but it was finally Lord Mayo, the viceroy from 1869 to 1872, who took the first steps. It was finally abandoned in 1879 and unfortunately since it was mostly a natural barrier barely anything remains today. The Great Hedge of India was mostly forgotten to the sands of time until Roy Moxham published his book oh. The Great Hedge of India in 2001. You know, uh there are things like this that just they just uh evaporates into thin air, you know, and people forget and people are like, "Oh, you know, it wasn't there." Oh, The other thing is because we don't focus much on all these countries that were colonized or because sometimes we think you know they think you know we focus on the history that they give us which is you know knowing that we were colonized by the British you know and you focus on that you don't focus about even like what was there before them you know what we had before them and i mean just looking at this man um it, it was a crazy time for those people that were living you know in this uh age in this time and i can say the same for you know the people who were living in in africa like in this time as well I mean, it, it was really crazy we can't go into that but um you know it is something that needs to be talked about people need to know because i believe a lot of uh, indians don't even know about this this great age you know this great war of india that was the imagine just stretching from uh punjab i mean punjab is what in the north is it north east or is it uh, punjab is in the north right and then you look at um uh, odisha that's odisha that's south east it's actually you know it's actually in the east you know that's crazy that is very long you know just being able to balance that is crazy is madness you know and it's something that needs to be talked about a lot uh need to be shared you know people need to know that it needs to be written in books man it needs to be written i don't know if it's there probably you guys maybe it's there and you know but if i go into the comment section here uh i uh, just wanted to apologize for this from the uk without india we would never if we had the strength to stop slavery across the world in the 19th century or the first fascist powers in world war 2 india is responsible for the modern world as much as um the british i mean yeah yeah but you 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 never see a lot of people talking about that because you know it's it's just um uh, it is said as information that is not relevant you know it is said as information that needs to be kept just inside you know in the sec needs to be kept closed up uh but they need to talk about this it needs to be out there and um in a known but again there is i'm sure there is another wall of india that is actually built with you know uh, stones i don't know stones or rocks or whatever that is actually built not like this long one but it was a hedge wall you know i think there is another wall like really really a wall I'll check it out as well. Let's see what you guys think uh, about this. But anyway, man, I appreciate you all. Uh tell me what you think in the comments section down below. Appreciate you. Take good care of yourselves. Peace.